nerds and nerdettes and we little nerdlings all. It's your buddy, Big Johnny G, the two gun fix it presents Legendary Gaming. Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of Tabletop Takeout. And this is a show that drops every Tuesday. In fact, we have an episode that drops of something or other every day of the week. That's right, Sunday through Saturday, every day, including leap year. So sometimes 366 days a year. Whoa. <laughs> now, this particular series is about what I like, what I've enjoyed about a game, sort of bullet points about why I've loved this game hitting the table and what I'm looking forward to and why uh, to see it hitting the table again. And this is a pretty fun series. This isn't a full review as you can tell. It is just that, just quick points. I'm not getting into overly uh, this, describing the rules or anything to you. No, these are quick bullet points about what I enjoyed, liked, or loved about this. <laughs> now, this game here is a game that is actually brought to my attention by my wife. This is a party style game, and there's a few, there's a few party games I enjoy, and this, this craziness is one of them. <laughs> so why don't you join me down the table and I'll tell you why I've enjoyed Watch Your Mouth. Watch Your Mouth is a party game that I think uh, is good for up to uh, eight players. No, ten players, I think it is. And um, uh, there are some party games that I do enjoy. It's not the, the biggest selection of games in my collection here, but they are fun. And uh, this particular one, let me just say right up front before we get any further into this video, I completely understand uh, the problem with, uh, with this because uh, you do have to stay on top of like sanitizing this because it deals with uh, something that goes in your mouth, a mouth guard, a mouth, um, it's something like when you go to the dentist. And he has a thing in your in your mouth to hold it open. So you always had to have uh, you know made sure that things were clean and sanitized. But I think over the last three years or so, it really shown the importance of something like that. But if you are able to, and it's not hard to do it all, if you're able to keep this uh, mouthpiece clean, and not just one, there's a whole bunch of them in the game. They come in two different sizes, actually, too, a large and a small. And if you if you uh, just uh, you know wash them after every every game and before the next game, everything should be fine. Uh, don't worry about it. But um, overall, this is the kind of game that is uh, th th that rides the rail, so to speak. Uh, between being a, a completely dirty game and being a suggestively dirty game. And if you get the Not Safe for Work expansion, it really goes into the <laughs> into the suggestive field pretty heavily. So if, if you've ever been to a dentist, uh, you know the sensation of sitting there with that guard in your mouth, holding it open, and uh, being asked questions. you got to try to answer them with this thing in your mouth. So you know how hard it is, you know how for some reason, the dentist always understands you. I guess don't play this game with a dentist is what I'm saying. But anyway, that's what this game is. is they are There are cards of phrases and sayings. Uh, some of them may be well known and others completely made up for this. In fact, some of them are things you would never... I, I have no idea why they would ever be strung together in a sentence. But you, you have the, the cards for the things to say, and uh, you're going to have it in your mouth. <laughs> then your teammates are going to have to figure out what you're saying. Now, this, this is a really fun game, and uh, every time me and my wife have sat down and uh, experienced this game with, with players, new or old, uh, we've always had a lot of fun with this. It brings out a certain level of craziness, I think, sitting around the table. Well, actually, you don't even have to play the table. Sitting around the living room and the couches and the comfy chairs. That's, you know, that's another bonus. Is a lot of party games such as this, you really don't need a table for. Wherever you're sitting in the living room, out on the deck, you're going to be able to, to, to play this game in comfort. <laughs> 
So yeah, that's that's another bonus for this. Now with with so many party games, as opposed to your traditional tabletop adventure games, this is a great game for non-gamers. It may be difficult to get them into some of the deeper, bigger board games, but when you're dealing with party style games, such as Watch Your Mouth, it's a lot easier to get them into gaming. At least for this. Is it a gateway game? Mm, well, it's definitely a game that non-gamers will play, but when I hear the phrase gateway game, it makes me think of a game that is not only that, but also the kind of game that that triggers something in the new player to want to experience more and more and deeper and deeper level games. I'm not sure if this if this will do that second part, but it definitely will uh, help get non-gamers to play a game. And uh, if you're if you're adult age, then I, I will definitely say that maybe a few libations before or during the game could possibly bring out another deeper level of. Uh, of fun to the game. It has uh, on occasions with me and my friends, uh, so I'm just throwing that out there if you're if you're old enough. And I think like 100% of my viewers tend to be old enough to drink, I think. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think I mentioned it uh, before, there is a Not Safe for Work expansion. If you're not a gamer, an expansion is, is a small addition that usually comes out some point later after the initial game comes out that you can buy, and it'll add something to the game. Uh, change things up sometimes. This, this is called Not Safe for Work because it's exactly that. These are extremely uh, dirty phrases that you probably don't want HR to hear you saying at the workplace. But for a party game like this, it really does increase uh, that level of fun. Uh, I, I don't think we've played a game without the Not Safe for Work expansion since we've gotten it, tell you the truth. it's uh, We just need more. That's what we need. We just need more cards. <laughs> Overall, this is a really fun game. Again, for a party style game. If you're looking to add more games to your party game shelf, <laughs> then this is something you should consider. So please, Go out, get more information on Watch Your Mouth, and uh, and make up your own damn mind. But uh, that's how I feel, and I've really enjoyed this. So yeah, go get more information on Watch Your Mouth.